First, a historic moment Bucks fans have been waiting patiently for 50 years. Three, two, one, let's see it. The Bucks unveiling their 2021 championship banner before their home opener tonight at Pfizer Forum. The players also receiving their rings during a pregame ceremony. And those rings, uh, they are huge. They are so big, we need nine monitors to show it to you in all its glory. 360 diamonds on the top, and it's so big, it just might not be practical to, you know, wear it on your finger. So the fix is, the top pops off, it becomes a pendant, you hang from your neck. Inside the ring, it could be a sports first, there's a scannable QR code when you scan that with your phone. Should you be lucky enough to have one of these rings, it will play you some highlights. All right, well, the team tipped off its title defense tonight with a major win over the Brooklyn Nets. Tom Durian is live in the Deer District. Let us start with Lance Allen. He leads our team coverage inside Pfizer Forum. They quieted the critics tonight. Real quick, Lance Allen. Certainly did, Steve and Shannon. 127 to 104. The Brooklyn Nets supposedly the favorites to win the NBA title this year. The Bucks put that to rest at least for opening night. And you mentioned it. It was 50 years ago that the Bucks won their previous title, and now a party a half century in the making. When you win your first title in a half century, you get bling that looks like a candy ring pop. Three. And unveil a banner 50 years in the making. You think about um, everything they've been through to get to that moment and um, a lot of great players in our league and um, you know our group is is very fortunate to have, you know accomplish that um, and it's just you know it's it's special and very very happy for our players. This is the biggest ring I've ever seen in my life and there's a lot of diamonds in it um, but it's a uh, it was it's really you know crazy not a lot of people you know, get to say they have a, a championship ring. Um, and it's, like I said earlier, it's surreal. And when the Bucks win in six, you bring in the guy that coined the phrase, Brandon Jennings. You coined the phrase, Bucks in six. Yeah. You were a prophet, man. I'm not a prophet. Um, I just made a prediction that I felt like at that time that, you know, we, we needed something to pump up the city. And of course we failed, but at that time, you know, I, I wasn't knowing, I was young. And I mean, it just it feels good to be back out here in Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? The Bucks finally had their first ring in 50 years, and I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. How much pride do you have? I mean, you were part of the parade, and to wear Bucks gear now, you got to have a huge source of pride because you helped start this. Yeah, um, the parade was awesome. Um, the whole game six experience, like I feel like in life now, like experiencing that type of environment, it's like, what do I get excited for? So, um, but but just that, you know, I'm wearing blue tonight for the blue collar state, Milwaukee. Um, just out here and um, you know, repping, man. I'm excited. Can't wait to everybody see the rings and everything. Truly a special night. Giannis moved to tears, he said in the post game. We will hear from him coming up in sports. Live at Pfizer Forum, Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports. All right, Lance, thank you. For a lot of fans, this was a once in